Hello everybody, welcome to another Facebook Live. So lovely to have your company. My name is Stephanie Waitman. You're watching us here at Highlight Crafts and I have got a fabulous collection from Two Red Robins. So let me tell you first of all what we're going to be educating and demonstrating with. It's a collection that you can see on your screen at the moment. It's called Ready or Not. And the great thing about this includes everything that it needs. So first of all, let's look, take a little look at some of the designs. So this is the first one that we've got, and it's our pansy wreath. Now this beautiful wreath has got the three little birds in there, all included in that one set. And if you wanted to go for this on its own, it's actually $24.99. For Nestor's, that's just $22.49. So you're saving just a few pounds there, but there's still a nice little saving. Then the next one that I've got for you is the Fleur die set. And this one has got a combination of those lovely, lovely, um, no, I'm telling you wrong. This is a blossom wreath. No, it's not. It's the Fleur. Ah, there you go. That's a good start, isn't it? <laughs> Do you know what? One day I'm going to do one of these and I'm going to go, yay, I did it right. Um, apparently at the moment, Andrew doesn't believe me. I think he could be right. Um, so this is the <laughs> collection. I tell you, if I've not done it right in 30 years, not much has changed, has it? Um, so first of all, this one, these red admirals, they're absolutely stunning. You'll recognize the artwork. We've had something similar to this before in bouquets, but this is about crescents and building different designs. I'm gonna show you a lot of snippability in this and showing you a different way that we're gonna do something. So I'm quite looking forward to this one. So that's the next one in the set. And then finally, this last one is the Blossom Wreath. And you know, can I just show you this? This is why it's so ironic I got it wrong. They wrote on the back for me. I've actually got it there. And in front of me, I've got this giant board with it written on. I still made it a mistake. Um, so this is the third of the collections. Welcome back to those of you that joined us earlier. So many of you bought this collection. Oh, wow. Um, so it should be $69.97. We bought the price down to $49.99. So you're saving just under £20. But then we did something we've never done before. Every single person that buys this collection today will get membership to Robin's Nest. Now, whoa, you're going, I'm already a nester. I know, that's why we're gonna give you another year's worth. So you're gonna get another year that will automatically renew at the end of this one. So that means your equivalent, if you take off the 24 pounds for Robin's Nest, you're paying, what, uh, 25 99 that's just crazy for this whole collection that's probably why so many of you actually bought all of this now included in all of this in this one in the pansy you've got three dies and five die cuts in the fleurs you've got five dies and eight cuts and then in this one you've got five dies and 11 cuts and do you know why my producer andrew just asked me to do that was because he personally counted them okay so <laughs> it's true he did oh uh, just a quick update my dad's had his operation he's in recovery and apparently the food is quite good so that means that he's doing really really well so super excited dad's going to be home later on in the week i'm hoping so a big hello so hello to Catherine. how are you i just i love that you love the collection um lorraine is in estepona i wish i was there too actually do you know what i think it could be warmer here than it is in spain I'm not sure if that's true. Um, Sue, you're in California. I'm not sure what your temperature's like, but it is pretty, pretty warm here. And this is um, a hello to Julie. You're back. Marion there. Do you know, it is great that you guys make comments because and I do read them all. Absolutely read every single one of them. Wanted to um, share a little bit of news with you. Our lovely Sarah who does all of our social media is moving on. And um, another lovely lady called Di is gonna be joining us. Unfortunately, Di's got COVID at the moment, so she's poorly, but we are gonna keep 
all the momentum going. Make sure that you don't miss out on any of the ideas and inspiration, because if anything, we're just gonna up the ante and bring you even more. So let's take a look at some of the cards that we did. So apologies if you were on earlier and you did see these when I had them then, but I think absolutely we need to have another look at some of them. And this one is super lovely. And I didn't point out earlier that it's got the imagery flat on the inside. So flat on the inside, decoupaged on the front. But doesn't that make a lovely change when you look into it and you can see that detail inside? And then, because of course, what you're seeing is not quite um, what you're, you're getting with your dies. It's not quite a complete wreath. So it looks like, I'm just going to get this one off. It looks like this. So what we've done is just pull that together and you're gonna just need to snip into it slightly or put a flower in the gap to be able to complete that. But it absolutely stunning design. And the quality comes from putting in that fabulous inside design there. And then, um, just to explain to everyone, you've got these outline dies, which you can see here. That's how the card blanks are being made. So we're using this to create the card blank, or in fact, to create cards like this, where it actually goes over the edge of an aperture. So this one is a complete aperture inside. You've got the decoration just sort of starting to frame elements of it and certainly framing the sentiment and then some really deep decoupage. Now this would need to go in a box to go in the pose, but that is definitely going to get um, displayed on a mantelpiece and look stunning. And I got asked earlier where this design was from. That's actually from the end of the Lane collection. So I'm pretty sure it is. So um, look out for that one. I want to show you this one, it's completely different. And that leads me really nicely onto this, which is a free download for you. So this sort of weathered wood look, I've actually got as a free download and you find it by going onto the Highlight Crafts website. Go to Craft, oh sorry, Craft TV. So Highlight Crafts, Craft TV. And then go into, go all the way down where it says related products and it's literally there you can see it really really quickly and just click on that and we've already had a lot of you download that ready to use okay so what about doing it as a whole picture that's another one and one i wanted to share with you i wanted to show you this because this texture that looks like it's sort of woven that you can see at the back that is actually in one of those special card packs you know when we say when it's gone, it's gone. This is the current card pack that we've actually got. So that's one of them. And then I'm just gonna show you this one that I did earlier because with this, I cut the apertures in here, use that um, background paper, that free download, put the little butterfly in, it's on a piece of acetate, used the actual, um, the crescent, that made it super neat by tucking the crescent between the two barriers of card, then left it open at this end, so that A, that's somewhere where you write, but also gives you really good stability on your card front. Right, I'm gonna get cracking with the demonstration. Big hello to everybody who's just joined us. Got a fantastic deal, we're gonna make everybody that buys, some, buys this kit into a Robin's Nest member so that you actually can enjoy all the lovely things and all the education we're gonna be bringing you. And so the first thing I've done is I've printed out that page. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to take off the white edge from one side along the bottom and along the top. So I'm taking those out from there. Now, if I had one of my lovely tattered lace edging dies, I would actually probably go along this top edge with one of those dies. And the other thing I just wanted to mention is that tattered lace, you can now buy from 
the Tattered Lace website. You don't have to actually wait to go to Create and Craft. And if you buy it from the website, we're going to ship it here from Highlight Crafts and we'll try and get it shipped as fast as possible. Right. So I've folded this over and I've just given myself about just, it's actually just under a centimetre, but I'm going to be using that little bit of card. And that's the reason that I didn't cut it off because I didn't want to waste it. I wanted to use it. You've seen how I've just used my fingers to push it up. Then I can open this out and then just press that down. And once I've pressed that one down, I'm going to take that and take it into the middle. And to make sure I've got it in the middle, I'm just going to lift that one up and then I can score there, making sure I'm keeping it level at the top and the bottom. So that's that part. And then the same on this side, I'm going to lift this up and I'm going to push it into there and just score there. So now, I've actually got what's going to become my pop-up box. Now, so I've got crescent designs. So you're looking at this and thinking, right, how are we going to make this into a pop-up box? You know, looking to make that all work together. We're going to show you a few little things. So first of all, we need to look at closing this up. But before we close it up, I need to do some cutting. So I'm going to decide where my box is going to actually fold. And I'm going to make it quite short with quite um, long edges. I'm going to do that because I'm going to cut into them and do some decorative work around them. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to snip down here to that fold line. So that's the first one. Here is my second one. Here is my third one. Now, you can see there, I've got all of those four cuts, okay? Now, I also need to trim off this piece because I don't need this. So I'm gonna cut down to that panel there and then I'm going to cut across in like a little V. So I've made that really neat so that when I glue that round you can see that it's going to not I'm not going to get any little bits overlapping. So the next thing that I do is I check all my folds. So I fold it flat that way. I then open this up and I fold that piece in and I fold it flat that way and make sure that that meets and comes together, which it all does. Right, the next part of it is how we're gonna decorate the detail here. And this is where it gets quite interesting. So first of all, I want to have a decorative edge along the bottom. So I'm going to pick the design that's going to let go along the bottom and it's gonna be this one. So I'm going to be putting these flowers just around the bottom here, okay? So I need four of these. So that's one, two, two, three, four. And now take this die and I'm going to place it over the top like that and just double check that I've got my panels and everything lined up properly. So let's just put, let's just line it up. In fact, the easiest way to do it is to show you like this, because you'll see it better. Okay, so that one sits inside of there like that. And then, so lay it down like that. So what do I want? I want this bit of the design. So I want that part of the design there so I'm checking where this is all lining up and it's lining up like that. So I'm going to put my tape, I bet you're wondering what on, what on heck is she doing? I'm wondering it too. <laughs> right, that is going to come there. Now I've got to do something. So I've worked out where I'm going to go 
and I'm going to, no, I've eyed it up so I know exactly what I'm, which piece I need. So I know I'm going to go into that little corner there and I'm just going to tape that on there. Okay, so guys, so I've now taped it, but all of this, I'm going to make sure that my card doesn't cut. So the only bit, oh, sorry, I've got to go back into, where's that bit gone? It's there, it was that catch. So I'm looking at, I think that's right. Well, as long as I keep them all the same, then I'm sure it's going to be okay. Right, so what I've done, you can see, I've got that part of it to there, okay? Now, I need to just mark this. So I'm going to mark it there, okay? So I've got that marked. This is then going to go onto my cutting mat. I'm going to lift up my cutting mat, place that down. That way I'll need to go that way to go through the machine. And this will go over the top. Oh, by the way, tomorrow well, I've got um, a sneaky peek of something, which I think is probably the best collection I've ever done, is on um, Craft Extra tomorrow at one o'clock. And I hope you're going to be able to join me. Um, and if you love sheepdog, then absolutely have to. And we've got the puppies on the website already. So the puppy sheep, the sheepdog puppies are already on our website. It's just a bit exciting. Right, let's double check this. Fingers crossed I've gone in the right direction. Oh, how did that circle get there? Blinking egg. Where did that come from? Oh, it's all right, Andrew laughing. It spoiled my, oh, my whole thing. I could cry, but it's a piece of a magnetic sheet. But luckily, I've got a plan. I have got a plan. Andrew, it has cut it. Andrew's like, oh, it's that one. Look at this. <laughs> Blinking cut it. He said, that would be hilarious if that had cut that. It's not hilarious at all, Andrew. It's heart wrenching. It's just, it's just, oh my God, I can't tell you how upset I am. And he's just laughing at me. Right, I was going to put the panels on this afterwards, but I'm going to have to do it now because like this, it needs to be there. But do you know what? My little bit of paper didn't move. Right, where's that circle gone? My circle, where's it gone? If this drops to bits, I'm going to be gutted. Right, so this, all of this now has to go behind and the only bit that goes in front, if I can keep my job, I'm going to do, I'm going to tape it up. I'll keep this together. Somebody said to me at the weekend, you lot were so lovely when we were crafting um, at, the web, at the show. You said, oh, it's so nice when you do it wrong as well. I was like, I do it wrong all the time. Right, so I finished there and I put that piece of tape on, didn't I? So now I'm going to go from there, lift that up, straighten that, and put that at the end where the next piece of tape is. I'm going to double check I haven't got a circle stuck on my magnetic shim. Instead, I've got a whole lot of dies. Make sure that's cutting down. I can't believe I did that. When I looked at my set of circles, there was one missing. Hmm. I said I can't believe it. Andrew said he can. But it's not good, is it? That was really disappointing. Okay, so let me recap the good bits, not the bad bits. What I've done is I've taken my die. Yay, this is what is meant to have happened. So you can see now I'm going along the edge here. So I got to there. Now I need that bit. And I've got to tuck all of this underneath so that it only cuts that piece. And it finished there, so it's going to cut there. So that's the bit we want to cut. So you get the, get the idea of what I'm doing now. Just unfortunately, 
I um, had that little accident with the circle, but I'm going to show you how to repair it because it is repairable. So I've got one more cut to do. Oh my gosh, I could die of shame and embarrassment. Oh. Do you know this year I didn't even get nominated for designer of the year. I know I've had it a few years running, but I was gutted. I was like, oh, no. Andrew says he voted 20 times, but it wasn't enough. I actually didn't get nominated. Right, I'm gonna go back to the first one. And this one has got to go here. So I go in there. Yeah, I didn't, do you know what, Andrew? Not even one nomination. I think that's just embarrassing. So I better up my game. Yeah, it certainly made me think about it. Like, right, that should go there. Right, drag you onto that. Oh, that was nearly a bit of another faux pas there. Making sure that the dye has gone through. Right, have we got any cheeky comments yet? <laughs> I bet you are mischiefing me, aren't you? I know this is an odd question. How is the new subscription for Tattered Lace going to work this coming year? Oh, actually, well, we're still working that one out. But what I can tell you is there will be one. So actually, I think knowing that there will definitely be a subscription, I'm hoping that's going to make you a little bit happy. Right. So everybody, um, and I hope that answers your question, Catherine. And what else have I got here? Um, hi again from Marilyn. Um, Lorraine says it's about the same weather-wise. Steve says hi. Oh God, Steve, don't look at what I'm doing. It's all going wrong. Um, Right, let me just see here what needs to happen. So I'm just going to take that tiny little bit of tape away and stick that over there because I had a little, that's where I had a little problem. And this is going to go over this edge like this. So And apparently, if, every, if all things are correct, it's going to be about the same temperature here in England as it is in California. So that is pretty warm. The 39 to 40 degrees. Wow. Right. So the glue is going ground the outside edges of this design. It's going to go up. I better go over these bits that I cut out by mistake. Down, down, down. Now we need to spread this glue because this is not going to be good if we leave it as blobs. So I'm just going to take this piece of acetate that I'll use. I'm not taking it over that edge because I don't want the glue there yet. I'm taking it, I can see, I'm luckily I'm sealing where I made mistakes. So I'm taking it all the way along the bottom because if you do this, you get a better result. You don't get bubbling and your cardstock doesn't warp. You end up with a much, much better finish. So just nicely spread out. I can remember the first time I glued, um, retacked a mat and Mel Heaton was watching. She absolutely had a fit. I came off the phone to four missed calls from her because I put too much glue on. Right, now what I need to do, I come up to this edge here I'm going to get quite close to the um, edge of the actual design and I'm going to go all the way along like that. Okay, I've missed this part here on the side because that's where that's going to fold around. I'm not worrying about the fact I've got this cut here because that actually you're not going to see it. And then what I do with my scissors and these and the reason you put these cuts in first is you'll get a better result. I'm going to take that cut down to there. Just like that. This one. Taking it down to there. Andrew's making comments about me having cut the right piece, but I'm absolutely sure I have this time. I'm going to cut here. I can't believe that circle was on there and it cut that out. Gutted. 
actually, to be fair, if that had happened and I was doing this at home, I probably would have started again, but I didn't because I've only got one piece of card. Well, I've only got two pieces of card and I wouldn't have had a piece to do the inside, which I needed to do. Okay, so that is all gonna go like that. So can you see I've got that edge all the way along there? Now I'm just going to roll this round and get my creases in place. So that's there and just there. And then finally, that is going to go there like that. Okay, so that creates our little box. Right now, we go into these. So the first thing I've got to do is remember which bit I started with. Which one did I do first? Mm -mm. Just talk amongst yourself for a minute. Oh, it'll be a second. Uh, that bit's there. So you can see that. I want a tiny little bit of a white edge to come here. So we're just going to put a bit of glue here, just like that. Let's get you on there. So there we go. So it's just like that. And I'm then going to snip here, but I'm not going to snip it off. I'm just going to make it, I'm going to do it so that it looks like it's meant to be there. So I don't want to just cut it in a straight line. So I've just gone round there and feathered it a little bit. On here, I'm going to go into where the daisies are and I'm just going to get the little bit of detail here and take that one to there. So that's the first bit of the edge that I've done. Right, you can't, because of the pieces that we take over the edges, that we can use, but we're not going to use it on the next one. The next one you need to get the next flower. So I did those, so I should be moving on to that piece. So can you see how I'm now moved on, moved along. I love it when a plan comes together. <laughs> so now we're going along there. So this piece, so I went to there. And I now, where am I going? There. There it is. Okay. So here, we're going to go just and take that piece. And up over here, I think I'm just going to leave that whole petal on for now and just wait and see. There we go. So, and it's folded flat. It looks like that. Then I need my next one. And I've now gone past there so I'm now at this part of the design which is th there so we need to get that glue down there tuck that behind to make it easy for me to line it up get that piece over that's going to extend too far so I'm just going to shorten that just there and go into this one and just take that little bit out of there. And then finally, the last one that I need comes from the other end. So it comes from, so that's that bit. It's gonna be somewhere around here. There it is there. So I can take that daisy out, take that petal out there. I'm going quite quickly, everybody. Take just a minute or two longer at home because you'll get, you know, it's worth the effort just to really line everything up perfectly. Okay, so that goes there. So now I've got my flower. I'm just gonna bring this one down a little bit and make that into a little, a smaller bud and a bit more glue just on that edge. Right, so there's my border. So I've got my decorative edge all the way along here like this. When I now then fan that out, I get the edge that you can see and the flowers are all coming all the way round. It's, I've got rid of that problem that I had in the middle with the um, detail coming off. I'm going to take each of these and I'm going to go back into the elements that I've got 
and find a piece that I could naturally extend up the design like that. So I'm going to take that piece up there, here, just with some little elements on it. And that's going to overlap and come up there. doesn't matter if it goes over the edge. We want things like that to happen. Right, now I'm going to look at this one. And this one looks like it could do with something that might come probably round there. Not as tall as that. So let's take out that piece there. And if I'm going to take that out, I'm going to take out the stem that would have led to it because otherwise it'll look strange. It's got a little bud, so I can leave that one. So more adhesive on this part. So I'm snipping in where I'm going to need it, not putting the glue at the top because we don't want it. And that's going to tuck underneath those flowers. So I've got I want about the same height as the one that I've got on the other side. So I can get that. So I've got that working. You see that starting to come together. And then these two, same kind of thing on this side. So I'm going to go not quite as tall with this one. So this is just a little bit of detail. And this one I'm going to take from just there. And then this one. So we're snipping into all these pieces that we had and making them each do their own work. That piece would go naturally there. So that's going to go here. Right. Now, the next part of this project, I'm going to go back to these strips that I cut off. So I've got a few of these. And this is where we're going to... So that's the start of my design coming together. I'm just going to hold it up so you can see it from the side that way. So you can see how I've brought that together. And what really makes this look good is the fact that the petals all follow round. That is the thing that, so you wouldn't have thought it would work from a curve, but absolutely it does. Now inside here, we need to get some panels that are going to um, overlap each other. So the first thing that you do is you get yourself a piece that is going to go against this wall. And I would fold this in half. In fact, I'll do it now so you can see. So this goes, gets a piece of glue all the way along it, gets folded in half, so it becomes super strong. Okay. And I'm not going to glue it all because what I really want to do is put my pieces of acetate, which I'm just going to cut from here. I'll just do, I'm just going to cheat. So I want one piece in between there, like that. Okay, so that's my first piece. And I need it, the width of that panel plus a centimetre. So if I cut that one there, my second piece of acetate, which I think flicked on the floor, so I'll use this, is going to go here. Check him, I've got glue. Make sure it's glued on. I'm just going to push it together a bit to make sure that glue's sticking. So that's going to go in there, like that. And it gets nice and stuck. And then that piece is going to go in there, like that. So now it is super duper tidy. And one of the things that I'm always looking for when I'm doing things for design teams or projects is making sure that everything's really tidy. Now I'm going to excuse myself because there are some little bits of glue on this, which I would be a bit more careful about. I'm just going to fold that in half and doubly make sure that's wide enough. It is. Right. So now what we do, we put this piece in and we're going to glue along here. So just like that. And then we fold this over and we press that down so that we know we checked it. Can you remember we checked those measurements? That's what we're doing here. So that's the first part of it. That's made our 
box that we've got. Next part, I've got this panel in here. And I've folded back one side. That's going to sit inside like that. And the other panel is going to sit inside like that. And that acetates at the top. So I'm just going to put that in there, put that in there, and then the acetate's there. So when it folds flat, so we got one piece goes that way, and then that piece goes that way. So I'm going to put that piece on there, and then that piece on there. I'm just going to get them level, and then I'm going to fold that flat. Now I'm um, so, hi, just wanted to thank you and all your team for a lovely day at Doncaster Saturday. It was my first time out to a craft fair for two and a half years and I have to, as I had to isolate, it was nice to be back in the living world. Oh gosh, thank you. That's fabulous. Thank you so much for that. Um, so I'm just going to go back to this and show you what I've done now. So I've got it flat. I've opened that up and look how that's now working. So that's got a piece of acetate. I'm going to I'm going to take one more piece and I'm just going to fold the edge on it. I'm just going to do one piece because otherwise I'm going to run out of time. So and I'm going to fold that one and get some glue on there. And this one is going to go in here and that's going to stick there. And then when that folds flat, it's going to stick there. So we'll just hold that tight for a couple of minutes and then let's pop that up. So I've got two pieces of acetate in there. And, my, and I've got all my flowers around. I've actually got that one's a little bit tight. I'm just going to fold that round again, a bit more needed. I didn't quite get enough of it folded over. So let's take that excess glue away. Piece of card. Do that. Just so you know, I'm not throwing that on the floor. I've got a bin down here. So that's going there first. And then I'm just going to get that one on the other side. Hope that that has got enough glue to hold. So squeeze that tight for a minute or two. I think that's done. Yep, I'm happy with that. Right, so I've got those in there. They're not quite as straight as I'd like, but they're certainly good enough for what we're gonna do now. Right, next bit, we've got all these crescents. So we've got lovely, lovely florals to be able to create dimension. So the first place that I'm gonna go is, I'm gonna lay it down and I'm gonna look at what would, how I can get like this S shape coming through so I can actually get some detail and some dimension in my designs. But I also want to bring in some of the other flowers. So this one in particular. So let me just snip in there and let's get some flowers in here. So um, which way are we gonna go? We'll go that way. So this is going to get a little bit of, in fact, I'm gonna make it a little bit smaller because it'll be quicker. So, Andrew, how are we doing for time? Right, oh, okay, only 20 minutes. I'm gonna, I might run over, guys, I hope that's okay. Um, I'm just going to, literally, as I'm working, I'm just gonna be snipping these and putting these flowers on. So, they're just going to, I am a bit of a race against time. But, so, here we go here and I'm getting these so that they're all going in a little bit of a different direction. It takes a minute or two to build it up because we really want a lot of flowers on this. This is just the start of it. It's like putting the foundation down for the decoration that we're building. And I'm going to take that piece out there. Okay, so now I've got, oops. Drop through, let me get you up there. Just there, let me get you to stick, get you to stick there. Right, so now I've got, so I've got this one, I need the glue on the front. So you have to think about which direction the design is going in and where you're wanting to create that glue. Then look at this, I've got a little bit more decoration. I want to go that way. So I want to start to get some height. 
So um, that's too much tape. So I'm going to just go in there. <laughs> so today we've all been boiling at work. I mean, you can imagine it's super, super hot. And then somebody had the brainwave that actually what we should do is close the doors and put the air conditioning on. Can you believe it? We've been actually sweltering in the heat and nobody thought to shut the door and put the air conditioning on. I mean, there's five adults in that room. Well, supposed to be, but, oh, seriously. I was like, did none of us really think to do that? Right, look at how that is now starting to come together. You can see that decoration starting to build. Right, so now I'm coming back into the design. And, I, and what I'm doing is I'm looking and making sure that everything has got, it, has got a home and has got, um, is going in the right way. So I'm sorry that you're looking at it back to front but you're seeing where I'm placing the elements. So I'm coming in, I'm coming down here and I'm letting that one go over the side. And then if I put it like that, you can see a bit more of the dimension. Then I've got some lovely pansies here. And in fact, one of those open crocuses. So I'm gonna take that, it's quite a chunky piece, but I think this'll be good as well to have just in this back corner where it, we really could do with some extra um, sort of a, a proper piece of sort of something sturdy. So again, I've now filled that back gap. Now I'm coming back into this one and I'm gonna take that little pansy there. And I think this one is gonna go to the front just there. So remember, I've got all these pieces of acetate that I'm able to use. So to get some height, I'll put the pansy on a piece of double-sided tape. Then up here, to get some um, it sturdy, uh, just a little bit of wet adhesive. I'm going to have to keep this bottle upside down now because it doesn't want to come out because it's running out. So we'll just keep you there. So that's going to go just there. So you can see I've like starting to, again, really fill it out. I've got a big gap up here. So here, there's a gap I need to fill. So I need to think about what I've got with my design. And this is where I get actually get the designs themselves and hold them up and look at which way it's gonna work. And let me just show you when I come to this side. So I'm now looking at where that's going to go. How can I get the dimension? It looks straggly over here. So let's snip that off or tidy it up and then pop that piece in and get that angle right. So I can see that if I snip it just there and I use my glue there, that will pull this together. So because this crescent has got all these lovely curves in, it helps you build up your dimension. You don't have to think too much. I'm sorry, that piece of tape didn't want to come off. You don't have to think too much about where the elements are gonna go. So you can see now I've got that extra piece in and I've got that to the back. I'm just gonna give that a little bit of detail. And I'm nearly there. I really am nearly there. So I've got a little piece there that's overhanging too far. So I'm gonna take that off. I want to just double check that I haven't got any major gaps. I'm going to let you have a look at it there. You can see from the sides, I've got that detail and that dimension. So considering we had an absolute nightmare at the beginning where everything just looked like it had gone to pot and those flowers were just all over, we've actually recovered it quite well, but we haven't finished because now, of course, it's gonna stay flat to go through your envelope. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do a little bit of decoupage down here. So I'm going to pick out some of the petals that we have used in this collection. So a little bit more time, everybody, just so that you get that extra bit of um, detail and you're not in the position I'm in where 
I'd got a couple of little mistakes happening, but I'm putting, where do you go there? Like that. So I'm just lift it up a little. So I've got a little bit of decoupage there. I want to decoupage that flower because that will make the difference to this. Let's see where you are, it's you're there. So I'll take you out, this. And this is, you know, from start to finish, about an hour to do a project is, would be what I would expect. Um, I think if, you, if it's something you've done before, you should be able to definitely speed up on that. But to be able to create a really nice birthday project for somebody without it taking you more than about, oops, oops, an hour is um, really good. Um, thank you, Donna, for asking after dad. He's out of surgery. He's actually in his room and he's saying the food's good. So that's, um, that's a really, really good start. So I can't tell you how relieved I am. At 83, um, it was, I was a little bit worried about him. He's all, you know, I haven't got any more mums and dads. And, um, so yeah, I'm, I'm just glad he's gonna be okay. And it's more than anything, it's about quality of life, isn't it? Because unfortunately, because he wasn't able to walk, um, his quality of life had sort of slipped a little bit. So yeah, I really appreciate that. Thank you for asking. So you can see here that bit of decoration I've got. I'm just gonna work out where this is gonna go because I've actually chosen a different flower to the one that's de needed decoupaging, but I don't think I mind. And then I'm gonna just turn this over. And what you would do is you would just repeat that on the other two sides so that you get that bit of lovely dimension that you can see here. So Andrew, if you could just, yeah, thank you for sharing that so you can see that decoupage and the direction that we've got there. So the paper is the free download. Cutting the um, random circle as you're doing is completely optional, but I'd recommend you don't do it because um, that was a mistake. And I am just gonna put a couple more flowers on the other side. So I'm gonna finish off this decoupage while I just let you know that anybody who purchases the collection will actually get free Robin's Club, um, Robin's Nest membership. Now, if you're already a member, don't worry about that because we're not gonna miss you out because you guys are really special. We're actually gonna give you another year free. I mean, that's a pretty good deal. And I do have to say that I think this collection was so lovely that there were people buying it already. And if you'd already bought it, we're going to be getting in touch with you and saying you will also get the deal. We're not missing letting anybody miss out on this. So everybody gets something special from it. And then um, finally, I've got one last little pansy to put on the other side. But I've been able to mix and match my designs. And I think it it really sort of lends itself to getting these extra little pieces and dimension elements, dimensional elements in the story. And so I've put a little bit of decoupage round each of those four sides. Maybe might just choose a tiny bit more, just letting those elements so that they're, they're sort of unwinding and bringing it all together. So you've got this lovely effect of just this huge bouquet of flowers. And I'm gonna fold that flat and let you see how easily that's gonna go in the post. So when you see something that is designed like this to be a crescent, please just look at it as individual elements. And by picking that up, it's reminded me of two last things that I need to do for you. So I'm just gonna work flat for a moment and I'm going to press that whole thing down like that. And I'm gonna take this butterfly and I'm gonna pop it right up high because that butterfly wants to be up. So we're just sitting on this buddleia, whoops, with a, in a, amongst a great big blob of glue, because it likes glue. So I'm just gonna pop that there. And then finally, these little birds. Now these are the bit 
that are the finishing touch. So I'm going to put one of them right at the front and he's going to get some tape on him and that tape is going to go to layers deep. So you can see the depth that you're going to get to this and he's going to stand away just a little bit from that foliage and give you a bit of detail. And then the, so there he is. And then this other one is going to sit in amongst the flowers at the back. So I'm just going to sit him in probably over there. And that one will go in with a bit of glue and the glue is going to go on the front of his tail there and the back of his head just there. And that then sits inside like that on the front and the back. So I've got my little, little birds tucked their paws in, got the detail. I've got my butterfly up at the top, all of that there, just finishing off the detail. And of course, the dimension of the decoupage at the bottom. So another sort of relatively quick card for you to do, but also one that gives you lots of fabulous results. You can see how much detail we've got in there. So don't forget everybody, anybody that buys today is going to get our Robin's Nest membership. I'm going to go and find somebody who's a winner of the £25 for making a comment on my Facebook page and I'll post that for you in the next few minutes. And then until tomorrow at one o'clock on Craft Extra when I'm bringing you some bargains, but something brand spanking new, then um, I will see you all soon and I'll be on Crate and Craft tomorrow night at six o'clock. But in the meantime, stay safe, stay cool because it's super cool. And thank you again so much for so many of you that came to Doncaster because you're the guys that make it all worthwhile. Thank you.